So you finally took that first step and you made your Twitch account. You even did a few streams. But now, with that out of the way, you realize that you have a lot to learn because you want your streams to be really good. Well, don't worry, it's normal for that to take time and thankfully you've come to the right place. I'll be your shortcut to success and teach you all that I've been learning for years. Hi, this is Mel from StreamMentor.com and today I'll share with you a handful of easy tips that will improve your future Twitch streams. Some of the tips will need you to get a bit technical with your equipment, but others will help with the overall quality of your performance. You can include all of them in your next stream, pick and choose, and see what works best for you, your content and your viewers. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. First, let's acknowledge that besides getting your viewers to click on your streams, you will have to do something that keeps them there and makes them come back. Because of that, the first tip I have for you is to focus on the quality of your stream rather than the quantity. In the beginning, at least. Because if you listen to this video very carefully and upon watching it, you realize that you've already done all you can to improve the quality of your streams, then and only then should you start pumping the content. But if there is a single thing you miss to do, please focus on the quality first. Yes, if you stream a lot, you will have more chances of getting a high watch time fast, but that's not how you make a substantial streaming career. And if the quality of your streams is suffering, so will the view count. It's also important that you don't think you have to get some fancy equipment to start, because you really don't. In the following weeks, we will be talking about making your video and audio look and sound amazing even on the cheapest equipment you can find. So stay tuned, subscribe and follow because you wouldn't want to miss out on this. Finally, having high quality content depends mostly on you and the effort you put in and trust me, when you do, your audience will be able to see it and love it. The second tip I have for you is a bit more technical. Now, I know that streams might seem like primarily visual content, still, it was proven repeatedly time and again that the audience would seek good audio quality over good video quality any day. For example, how many times have you opened Twitch just to listen to a stream, just to listen to a background noise while you cook or you do your chores or something? We can all get over less sharp visuals, but dealing with quiet or echoey audio I don't really think so. I really can't stress this enough, it's so important to have good audio quality, much more so than good video quality and sue me if you think I'm wrong. That's why you need to get your microphone settings to be just right. Before you buy a mic, make sure to research what people think about it and you can even find videos where people test said mic to know precisely how you would sound to your audience. Once you get it, fiddle with the settings until you hit the sweet spot and don't forget to test how you sound before starting the stream. Get your friends involved. Make them sit with you on the other side of the line and report on how they're hearing you. No friends? Well, no problem. Record yourself. Play with your intonation, with mic positioning. How do you sound when you're excited, angry, happy, when you're close to your mic or you lean back? All of this is extremely important and so do not start a stream before you're sure all of this is set and done. Number three, get a green screen if your background sucks. Getting a green screen can be a fantastic thing if you are a gaming streamer and if you're not on the neat side or your background is ugly or if you have a plain white wall, a window or something boring like that. Just think about it. Isn't it irritating when you watch a stream of your favorite game and the face cam is blocking a part of the view? Like, I love this streamer, yes, but I do not need to see what they have on their shelves in the background. I'd really rather see a bigger part of the screen that is a game I'm actually interested in than just watch at the room of whichever streamer, unless their shelves are awesome as mine. Green screens aren't expensive and you can find a variety of options on Amazon, so just find the one that fits your needs and your budget and you'll be all set. Or you can simply check out our guide on streammentor.com, I'll leave the link for you in the description below. The fourth tip I have for you is to use Stinger transitions. Maybe you know what I'm talking about and already have some set, but if you don't, then this is your sign to consider them. 
Singer transitions are the transitions that appear when you change between different scenes in your stream, so they will automatically add some excitement to your stream. Doing such things will keep your viewers' attention high. Now, no matter how funny you are, our brains can sometimes wander off searching for something new, so it will be a genius move to give your audience that new thing within your stream. Number 5 is an enjoyable one. You should add stream alerts to your streams. As the name says, stream alerts are sounds that occur when something important happens during the stream. So when someone gives you bits or subscribes, a sound will go off to notify you. Isn't that fun? People like your stream and everyone will be able to hear that. The thing I love the most about stream alerts is that you can completely customize them to fit the vibes of your stream. Are you playing The Sims? Well, wouldn't it be great to greet each new subscriber with a so -so. Adding alerts can be done through your OBS and it's pretty easy to do it, so this is truly an effortless way to improve your stream. You really don't even have to use a single penny. There are a lot of websites offering these for free and there will surely be something that will fit your needs. Here's an extra tip for you. Make sure that your alerts are inviting, meaning you will want to use something catchy, something that can even grow into a real catchphrase of yours something that will subconsciously make people want to subscribe. The sixth tip may be something you're already doing, but you also might be someone who needs to be pushed out of your comfort zone a little bit. Showing your face is probably the single best way to make a deeper connection with your audience. Now, I know that you might want to avoid this. Now, not everyone likes being on camera, in, and if that's the case, you can always go for an avatar. We both know that hundreds of successful streamers out there have never shown their faces. But if the main reason why you're hesitating is a lack of self-confidence, then that can be easily powered through. Your viewers will probably just feel more connected to you and they would want to know who stands behind the account. Yes, you might feel uncomfortable, you might lack self-confidence, but no one is coming to check if you have a crooked tooth or if your hair is bad or something like that. They are there to see your reaction. Your reactions while you play a game, is your heart, doesn't matter, while you talk to them and so on. Your reaction will trigger an interaction and interactions is what will make your viewers stay. But again, if you're not comfortable with this, there are avatar makers, so be sure to check our article on this and be done with this step, like a boss. If you're a bit of a chaotic creative, you might not like what I will say next, but planning your content is a great way to improve the quality of all your future Twitch streams. Making a full script of what you're going to say won't do you any good. It will just confuse you, but you should always have the key points you want to talk about in your mind. Always come to the stream knowing what game you're going to play and how long you'll be there. Not only will that make your job easier, but your audience will also appreciate it because they'll know what they're signing up for. A great thing that Twitch has is the stream schedule, so you can let everyone know what you're doing and when. This could increase your views but quite a bit since people will be excited to come to things they enjoy. You don't have to schedule things too much in advance, but a week in advance will be a great point to start with. Tip number 8 might seem like stating the obvious, but make sure you prioritize your and your audience's communication. Now, I watch a lot of streams and number one mistake that I see new streamers make is streaming in complete silence. If this is you, I understand. I really do. You might not know what to say or you think there is no one watching, which might not be true. To which view count isn't always correct, so even if you see zero viewers, there still might be someone watching, so you can't stay silent. And I know what you're thinking. But how can I communicate when there is no one in the chat? Well. If they're not starting the communication, you have to be the one to do so. Talk, talk, and talk. And I know it sounds silly, and narrating your gameplay or asking questions to an empty room can feel kinda strange, but it's still better to do that than keep silent in case someone is actually there. Yes, they have come to watch your stream, watch you play, but it's not the game that they're there for. 
it's you. There are probably a lot of streamers that stream the same thing you do, but they don't do it the same way as you. So showing that you care for your viewers will do wonders for the quality of your streams. Try your best to stay on top of whatever's going on in the chat and answer any questions that might appear. While narrating what you're doing in the game can be fun and helpful, trust me, it will be even more fun to everyone involved to have an engaging conversation with you. To make everything really interesting, you can maybe add a segment at the end of each stream for doing a fun Q&A. This is the easiest way to connect with your audience and have them get to know you a bit better. Bottom line, narrate your game, answer the questions, interact with people and use random question generators for ideas and as conversation starters. The ninth tip I have for you is something that you've probably heard a million times over, but it still remains as true as ever. Try your best to be consistent. When viewers know when and what to expect from you, they will be more likely to come watch you and, more importantly, they will be more likely to enjoy your streams. Besides showing up, it's also important to be consistent with what you show up with. While changing things up from time to time can be fun, it's still better to stick to a specific game and make it your niche. But don't forget to mix and match the titles. One same generic title for your every stream isn't good, and avoid this at all costs. Anyway, playing Fortnite for weeks and then suddenly appearing with Animal Crossing unannounced probably won't go well. Whenever you wish to change things up, just be sure that your audience is aware of it. A great idea would be to decide with them what will be the game to play when you want to change it up. Trust me, they will love it. And when we're talking about what our viewers want to see, what do you want to see from us next? Let me know in the comments. Finally, the tenth way to improve your streams will include you doing a bit beyond Twitch and your streams. While connecting with your audience during streams is excellent fun, communicating with them outside of the streams is super personal and will increase the chances your viewers will come back. But not only that, it will also improve your visibility and help you reach new viewers. Some might not agree with me, but I actually enjoy Twitter for this but an even better way to stay in touch with your audience is to have your own Discord server. You can even use Facebook groups or subreddits to promote your streams. If you're communicating with your viewers and followers between streams, the next time you pop on stream, it will be like you've come to hang out with your friends. This means that everyone will be more relaxed and will have more fun, which is probably the most important thing when it comes to streaming and building your community. And that's it! Those are the top 10 ways to improve your Twitch stream. If you found something that seems like the right fit for you, then make sure to check our website streamhunter.com where you will find full guides for making your stream career a success. Finally, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you can always come back for new and helpful videos.